One of the things with VAT polymerization is really the materials. The VAT polymerization has allowed us to get into some really different materials, high performance polymers. Uh, you've got your prototyping polymers, you've got your casting polymers. And so the VAT polymerization also is scalable, and that's one of the things where you see some of our larger printers. Uh, you could get, we've got one now with two lasers on it that actually speeds that up, so the laser can go in and span that, and it gets you really good accuracy. You get really nice smooth surfaces, and you get real nice capability and strength, as well as isotropic type properties that make your parts more functional for use. I think as you see uh, that polymerization grow, one of the things that's going to grow that is the materials. Uh, the materials technology in this industry, to me, is a real upside of where we're going to see things go because now I want to start doing, instead of just prototyping, we did for years, and we've learned to do that very well across this industry, now we're looking at the material scope that allows us to do in-use parts, that allows us to use parts that last years over time, and now we can look at those capabilities as Hey, now how do I go into low volume production? How do I go into bridge manufacturing? How do I do some of these things with those materials that we just couldn't think of in the past?